Item number SCP-1J Containment Class Safe Thaumiel Neutralized Special Containment Procedures SCP-1-J was to have been kept in a containment cell approximately 5 meters on all sides and protected by 20 members of MTF Nabla 4 Ice Bears at all times. Description SCP-1-J designated a Krylon brand aerosol can containing approximately one half liter of a paint-like substance, designated SCP-1-J-Beta. This paint-like substance was approximately 20% the mass of ordinary paint. In coloration, the SCP-1-J-Beta substance was colorless and odorless. It was approximately 100% transparent. When applied to a surface or mixed into a substance, the object was able to be seen clearly through, with the same diffraction as the surrounding environment, be it air, water, or vacuum, as if it didn't exist at all. How this process occurred is not known. SCP-1-J-Beta Testing Log Parameters. The SCP-1-J-Beta substance is to be applied to a wooden plank. Result, wooden plank became invisible. Notes, wooden plank incinerated due to being a tripping hazard. Parameters, the SCP-1-J-Beta substance is to be stirred into water. Result, water became invisible. Notes, water exposed to SCP-1-J-Beta tastes like ordinary paint water. Parameters. The SCP-1-J-Beta substance is to be applied to a sheet of lead approximately 1 meter in height and width, and approximately 5 cm in thickness. After the SCP-1-J-Beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for radiation-blocking capabilities. Result, lead became invisible. Notes, D-Class personnel reported feeling itchy and lightheaded, while the lead sheet stood between her and a sample of Krypton-85, approximately 10 kg in weight. Cause of Symptoms Unknown Parameters. The SCP-1-J-Beta substance is to be applied to a steel M1 helmet. After the SCP-1-J-Beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for ballistic protection capabilities. Result, helmet became invisible. Notes. No paint flaked off of the helmet upon being shot repeatedly with pistol-caliber ammunition. Helmet did appear to be dented from tactile examination. D-Class sustained concussion. Parameters. The SCP-1-J-Beta substance is to be applied to a printed copy of a memetic kill agent. After the SCP-1-J-Beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for memetic kill capabilities. Result, meme became invisible. Notes, D-Class tester reported no effects, save for confusion. D-Class terminated by facility guard anyways to maintain regular quota. Parameters, the SCP-1-J-Beta substance is to be applied to the body of SCP-096, the Shy Guy. After the SCP-1-J-Beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for reaction. Result, SCP-096 became invisible. Notes, D-Class tester told to stare in the direction of SCP-096, but was not attacked. Upon the success of this test, SCP-096 has been released out into the world due to no longer posing any threat whatsoever and being completely harmless. SCP-1-J reclassified a Thaumiel. Parameters. The SCP-1-J-Beta substance is to be applied to SCP-049, the Plague Doctor. After the SCP-1-J-Beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for reaction. Result: SCP-049 became invisible. Notes: The present location of SCP-049 is unknown. Several staff have dropped dead and become zombies. It is unknown if these phenomena are linked. Parameters: 
the SCP-1-J-beta substance is to be applied to a piece of paper containing the written designation of the entity symbolized by circles. After the SCP-1-J-beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for provocation ability. Result, paper became invisible. Notes, SCP number manifested inside of the testing chamber, became confused, and left, but not before grabbing the D-Class tester present anyways. We're pretty sure it doesn't know about this entry. Parameters. The paint was to be applied to SCP-J. Result. The object was affected. Notes. Write later. Parameters. The SCP-1-J-beta substance is to be applied to approximately one pill of SCP-500, the Panacea. After the SCP-1-J-beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for efficacy. Result. SCP-500 pill became invisible. Notes. Location of pill unknown. Possibly dropped and transferred from testing chamber. Parameters. The SCP-1-J-beta substance is to be applied to the body of SCP-347, the Invisible Woman. After the SCP-1-J-beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for reaction. Result. Unknown. Notes. Researcher K has reported that his car keys went missing sometime during the test. Possibly leakage of paint? Parameters. The SCP-1-J-beta substance is to be applied to body of an instance of SCP-363, not centipedes. After the SCP-1-J-beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for reaction, ostensibly. Result. Ostensibly, the SCP-363 instance became invisible. Notes. Due to no light touching the instance, the instance ostensibly mutated rapidly and breached containment. Ostensibly 12 dead, and ostensibly 55 wounded. Location unknown. Parameters. The SCP-1-J-beta substance is to be applied to body of SCP-682, hard to kill reptile. After the SCP-1-J-beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for reaction. Result: SCP-682 instance became invisible. Notes: SCP-682 is no longer detected. It is presumed to be neutralized. D-class position in the testing chamber also disappeared. The reason for this is unknown. Parameters: The SCP-1-J-beta substance is to be applied to body of SCP-173, the statue. After the SCP-1-J-beta substance has been applied, it is to be tested for reaction. Result: Not applicable. See below. Notes: SCP-1-J has run out of SCP-1-J-beta for use in testing. SCP-1-J reclassified and neutralized.